Hi, right, welcome to Quality of Life, Grace Teaching, New Covenant Ministry. Um, today uh, we are speaking on the subject PTSD. It's Post Traumatic Stress Syndrome. Um, and we are New Covenant Grace Teaching, New Covenant Ministry. And uh, we teach the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. And, uh, but we're going to talk about a, a subject uh, that's a lot of people are really not quite sure what it is and why are we being diagnosed with this. Um, I do want to fix our eyes on one particular passage of Scripture, and this is our key verse for this whole topic of, um, of PTSD, which is post-traumatic stress syndrome. Um, and so this is a diagnosis uh, that the world or the psychiatrist might give a person if you go to a psychiatrist. But remember, as believers in Christ, our identity is child of God. Um, and so that's where we're going to get our, uh, our identity, first of all. Um, and so, as children of God, Hebrews 12.2 says this, We must never stop looking to Jesus. He is the leader of our faith, and He is the one who makes our faith complete. He suffered death on a cross, but He accepted the shame of the cross as if it were nothing because of the joy He could see waiting for Him. And now he is sitting at the right side of God's throne. Think about Jesus. And uh, that's really what we want to talk about. Um, as believers in Christ, um, we are one spirit with the Lord Spirit. And so one thing we have to remember is um, we have an enemy. Uh, it's called the accuser of the brethren. And uh, we know that uh, Satan is very alive in the world. If we read scriptures, Jesus talked more about Satan than, than anything in the Gospels. Um, and so, but what we don't want to talk about Satan. We want to discover, you know, and talk about this uh, post-traumatic stress syndrome and what is it. Um, some of us, all of us, have regret in the past. Um, if we look back into our past, we all have regrets, so we don't look there. Um, but sometimes the accuser of the brethren, Satan, um, will take our minds and bring us back to a past event. Now this could be very traumatic, something that's happened. Um, it could have uh, been a traumatic experience that you experienced, or maybe something that you did. Um, and so a lot of times um, this is something that, that was traumatic, that happened, and uh, whether, whether or not you are the victim or um, you are the person that actually afflicted the traumatic experience, it really doesn't matter. One thing the enemy loves to do is take our minds and put them in the past. And as believers, we know that Jesus is right here in the moment. He'll never say, I was. And if we go into the future, it's a problem too because there's fear there. Now, Satan takes our mind either to the future or the past, we're going to have regret or PTSD, which is post-traumatic stress syndrome, um, if we go to the past. And what happens is the enemy um, likes to take our minds back to the past event. And that's what we're talking about. And so PTSD is something that's traumatic. It happens to soldiers that have experienced traumatic experiences on the battlefield. They've watched their bodies die on the battlefield. And, um, and so on. So this could be anything. And so whatever it is, remember Satan is in charge of this. He actually takes the mind back there. And the emotions will travel. They'll respond. And if we stay there long enough, we'll be in trouble. We have to remember that <clears throat> the, the, this moment is where we need to be. And so we need to bring our minds back here to this moment where Jesus says, I am. I'm here. And uh, that's how we fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, is we bring our focus here back to this present time and this moment that we're into. Now remember, uh, this is going to be an exercise. This is like going to the gym. You actually have to do this. And so we have a free will to choose. Now whether you're a believer in Christ or not a believer in Christ, our minds are going to be... <clears throat> we're going to have to choose out of our will to stay in the moment. And that's the secret to victory over the PTSD. 
which is post-traumatic stress syndrome, is stay in the moment. So as our minds are in the moment, focused in on the Lord and trusting Him to take us through this difficult time, our emotions will respond and follow um, along. And so remember, the Lord is a very present help, and He's there to help if you're struggling with this. Um, and so we've had friends that have struggled with this, and uh, they didn't do so well um, with this, and they didn't get the help that they really wanted and desired, and didn't know where to get it. But we know our help is in the Lord. He is the only way to get through this. And uh, remember that uh, as a caregiver myself, it's a lot easier to help people when they want help. I went in to help a resident the other day in the care center. And one thing I noticed is she wouldn't let me help her. And so I had to leave the room. I couldn't help her, even though I wanted to. That's the way the Lord is with us. And so we have to remember that. That if we need help, He's, he's the one we go to. I like Psalms 18, 18 where David says, um, In my distress I called upon the Lord. And he heard my cry. So remember, the past is trash, the present is here, and the future is God's country. So we have no business being in the future. That's God's country for all of our lives. The past, we all have regrets in the past. And so we don't even go there. We just stay right here in the moment. And Hebrews 12, too, is just saying, fix your eyes on Jesus. And that can only be found. He can only be found in the moment. So remember, Jesus will always say this. He, he will say, I won't, I'm not the, I will be. That's going to the future. And going in the past, he says, I'm not going back there. I'm not there. But in the moment, he says, I am here for you. So, <clears throat> thank you. And remember, you're the most important person here. Because without you, we could not teach and remember this. Um, you're the most important person here. Um, we learn so we can teach, and we teach so we can learn. And thank you. And remember, the will is the chooser. We choose to put those minds right here, right now, and let's go forward. Remember, we're not going backwards. We're going forward. And so, thank you. Remember, there's always light at the end of the tunnel. Every tunnel that you've ever been into, there's always been light at the end of it. So keep going forward. Jesus loves you, and so do we. Thank you.